Hello friends, welcome to the third part of our discussion on projectile motions where we're going to look at time of light. So we need to understand time of light. So this would be a reference. We're going to make a reference from what we did in part two. So this is uh, the diagram which represents uh, the trajectory. So let you be the speed at which it is moving at. They have the y axis and also we have the x axis. So now the point, uh, this point is where the particle will start from and it will be moving. So now when the force of, of gravity acts upon it, it will change its motion going back to the horizontal. Now the time it takes from the starting point to where the trajectory ends, the total time taken is what we refer to as the time of flight. So let us see how we're going to calculate this time of flight. Now, if you remember, if you've watched the second part of projectile motions, where we looked at uh, time taken to reach the highest point, or time taken to reach, I mean, time taken for maximum height. Uh, we did look at it and we did derive it, which later helped us to find uh, highest point. So T is equals to U sine theta over G. So this time for the highest point is uh, denoted using a small letter T. Now what it is that to find the time taken or time of flight, total time is simply multiplying this same T by 2. So the time of flight is simply twice the time taken to reach maximum height or the highest point the trajectory, I mean the projector will ever reach. Okay, so that is what we have. So that will therefore mean that T for the time of flight which is denoted by a capital letter T will be equal to 2 times over the time taken to reach the highest point. So it will be capital T is equal to 2 times small t, like that. Now, small t is uh, the one that was just expressed above here. So it will be t is equal to 2 times, that will be u sine theta, the one you can see there, which is u sine theta divided by g. So when you multiply by 2, we're going to get time of flight to be equal to 2 u sine theta over g. So you need to note that every time time of flight is twice the time of the highest point reached. And this is our time of flight. Okay, so that's how you go about it. Thank you very much for watching this video.